morning, everybody. So today's gonna be a super busy day because today is the last day that I have to clean and organize before my two best friends, Kat and Megan, uh, come from the US to visit and see the house for the first time. And since it's the first time that they're here, I really want everything to be like perfectly presented. And I mean, obviously there's half the house that is still uh, undergoing construction problem things, so. It's not going to be perfect, but uh, for the rooms that are finished, I want them to be like perfectly presented. I want to add in a lot of little details. So today we're going to just see how many tasks I can blaze through in one day. Um, mostly they're little detail things, but I do have a couple of bigger tasks that if I have time I would like to get to. We'll see what happens. Uh, there's also some deliveries that are coming because I ordered a few things uh, that, you know, would be useful for when Kat and Megan are here, like a bedspread for the downstairs bed that we've just added in. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a busy day, it's gonna be a packed day, but let's see how many projects I can get through in just one day. Okay, project number one is in the Rococo bedroom where either Kat or Megan is going to be staying when they visit, we've got this lamp, which I, I picked up at a thrift sale, a, um, a Vite Grenier, a garage sale in Paris. Um, and I love this lamp and it does work properly, which is more than you can say for like a lot of antique lamps. But when I picked it up at the thrift sale, it did not come with a shade. So we found this shade um, that was just in the house because if you need something in this house just go and poke around in the garage in the first floor and you will find a lot of stuff and probably the thing you need so we found this shade the only thing is that the hole that uh supports the shade on the lamp is way bigger than the actual like stock of the lamp here so i'm gonna have to figure out a way to make the hole smaller so that it will hold itself up instead of just like this situation <laughs> which is not really the design choice i was going for Here's a lampshade I would like to use with the hole that is just slightly too big. So I went in the garage and I found a smaller lampshade with, of course, a smaller hole. So let's see if we can somehow cobble these together and make a lampshade that works for the lamp. Well, it's not the prettiest thing once you look inside it, but I was able to tape one side of the new little wire support to the old wire support, and then I just kind of glued this to the side of the lampshade and glued it on the bottom. So let's go and put it on the lamp and see how it works. I'll take the hot glue gun along too, because we need to glue my grandmother's porcelain figurines onto the shelf down in that bedroom just so they're extra safe because I don't trust myself not to eventually knock them off the shelf. The moment of truth. Let's see if it fits. Yes. That'll do. All right, let's put the bulb in. Looks good, looks good. Let's turn it on. Oh, I'm very happy with that. Yep, 
Very, very pleased with that. That shade looks good with it. I think we're going to keep that shade. It was kind of just a stopgap measure, but I'm very pleased with that shade. I think that might be the final shade for this lamp. Yay! It looks all warm and homey. I like it. Okay, while we're down here, I'm just going to quickly hot glue these little figurines onto the shelf. These are my grandmother's porcelain figurines, and I just feel nervous that they might fall off. Um, oh, but the thing is, they're, they're porcelain, so I think that if we put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom like this, just to give them a little extra safety, then uh, probably that will be enough to make them nice and safe, but also something that we could remove later on. Um, yeah, it's just gonna make me feel better. Hello, it is Future Me here with just a very quick side note. Uh, I saw that a lot of you guys had commented on the previous video about not using hot glue with the porcelain figurines. And first off, I just wanted to say thank you because I, I really do appreciate when you guys comment with advice and ideas uh, because those are often extremely helpful. Thank you to everyone who's commented with spider repellent ideas. Highly appreciated. Uh, and it really means a lot to me that you guys are invested enough to take your time to to comment with, with your advice and your thoughts. Uh, but in this case, I am going to use hot glue on the figurines for several reasons. First off, uh, this video was filmed before the last video was published, uh, because I do two videos a week, I have to leave myself like a, a small time delay of a backup video <laughs> so I don't ever run up against a brick wall of a deadline with no video ready. Uh, so I did not see your, your comments about the hot glue before I had already done it and filmed this video. Secondly, I did some research and the hot glue is okay to use with this type of porcelain. It is not going to damage the figurines. Everything's going to be okay for that. So everything is, is good. Um, and then also I just wanted to say like, because we are working with a truly shoestring budget here, uh, sometimes I just can't afford to buy a new product for a very small job like this, but I had hot glue. It's not going to damage the figurines. It was there. It was uh, not going to cost me extra money to buy something completely new for one single job. So that is what happened. I just wanted to have this moment of addressing that. <laughs> Back to your usual programming now. Okay, figurines glued. Task number two, done. Task number four is gonna be really easy. It's just putting some little lampshades on the sconces in the wall because I think it's gonna make it just look more finished. This hallway looks a little messy and construction-y. Is it straight? Can't tell if it's straight. Oh yeah, that looks just a lot more finished. Very pleased, like it a lot. Task number three, done. While I was doing those tasks, the first of my deliveries arrived. I should be getting three deliveries today, I hope. Uh, there should be this one and some bedding and some pillowcases, but this is what just arrived. It's a mirror. Uh, because we need mirrors to go upstairs in the attic to turn it into a dance studio and full-length dance studio size mirrors are stupidly expensive so this mirror was only 30 euros and what I'm gonna do is maybe today maybe at another time take it up to the attic put it in place and just see if I think it would work to have two mirrors of this size stacked on top of each other and then two more, two more to make a wall of mirrors uh, for the dance studio mirrors. Because if we could do that, then it would only cost 30 euros per mirror instead of like 250. Okay, next project. I'm going to finally give it up and just put the trim onto this bed that I reupholstered. Uh, I've been putting it off because there is a very small stain on the other side. And I was thinking about taking off the fabric and washing it in the machine just to get the stain out. 
but to be honest I don't know if that would get the stain out and I'm worried that taking it off would shred the sides of the fabric where the staples are now so I think it's better maybe just to go ahead and put the trim on and try to get some kind of stain pen to get rid of the, the very small stain over there which you can't even see when the pillows are on the bed anyway so I think it's fine That makes such a difference, that little finishing touch. Okay, I'm going to finish making up this bed, put some pillows on it because of my ongoing pillow obsession, and I think this room will be ready for some special visitors quite soon. Okay, task number four is done. I'm moving so quickly through all these tasks. I'm very proud of myself. Okay, so for project number five, we're back in the Rococo bedroom. I just ran to the hardware store to pick up a couple of things for another project, but while I was out, it got really dark. So if you're wondering why it's suddenly really dark in this video, that's why. Uh, but also I checked my mail and all of the other deliveries arrived. So I've got three, well, I've got two deliveries that I was expecting today. And then one delivery that's literally like two weeks early. So yay, um, it's all bedding. And so I'm going to take that bedding and make up this bed here in the Rococo room and uh, yeah, just make it look a little bit more finished in here. I'm really excited to see what this bed that we bought at the antique store will look like once it's all made up and finished looking because I've not seen it like that yet. So that's very exciting. So three, two, one, made up, cut to made up bed, hopefully. Here it is. I'm filming this the next morning just so you guys can get the, the full effect in the sunlight, but this looks great. I didn't iron the duvet cover, which I might have to do. It is a little bit wrinkled from the package, but you get the idea and I really like it. Uh, it is a little bit more blue than I expected. It might be a better choice for the blue bedroom, but for now I think it looks nice in here and I really like that white flower pattern that's on it in here, so very happy. This room is officially ready for a guest coming next week. Project number five. I'm going to zhuzh up this hutch cabinet thing in the kitchen. So what I want to do, uh, you can see here I've already done two as a test just to be sure that it's what I want to do. And it is, uh, is put in little hooks and then hang each teacup in front of its saucer. I can fit in seven per row which is not going to fit all of the teacups that we have. We have a lot of teacups. <laughs> I'm obsessed with teacups. It's bad. Anyway, I'm going to have to manually uh, screw in all of these hooks. It's a bit of a job, but I'm going to get started on it, see how far I get tonight. And then I'm also going to add in little doorknobs onto the drawers like that. happy with those very easy to do but add something nice to the whole thing now let's do the harder part I think this is going to get very boring after about the eighth hook that I have to screw in by hand okay this task seemed like it was going to be easy and cute and hanging teacups adorable 
It was not. This was one of the worst tasks that I have done in the house. The big problem was that because of the way the shelves are set up, I couldn't get the drill in to drill pilot holes for the little hooks. So I basically just had to use the strength of my hands to shove the hooks into the wood. And it was terrible. That was so much work. My hands are on fire after driving in all of those little hooks. I know that uh, I, I know that you can uh, drill a hole to put the hook into. And it's much easier, which is what I did do on the top. Unfortunately, on these two shelves, there was no way to get a drill in there. So it was all done by hand, but it is beautiful. And I'm so happy with it. It totally changes how this piece of furniture looks. But in the meantime, I am exhausted. So it is definitely time to have a nice bath, nice dinner and crash. Um, also tomorrow I am driving up to Paris and it's the first time that I've done a, a road trip or a long drive of any kind since I got my license here in France. So I definitely wanna be like well rested for that. I'm going up so I can pick up Kat and Megan. We're gonna have like two days in Paris and then we are going to Chateau Lalande. Uh, which you may know if you're a Chateau Diaries fan, uh, for two days, and then we're coming back here. Good morning, it's the next morning, um, and I just, I'm gonna finish this video on the next morning because I wanted to show you guys how all the projects look in the daylight because Everything just looks so pretty when the sun comes in the back of the house and shines right onto it. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So let's review what I did yesterday. By the way, if you hear weird noises, it's because I'm cooking as I film. All right, number one. Well, this was not project number one, but it is the most significant project that I think I did yesterday. It's getting all the teacups hung and they look so beautiful. It is worth the horrific pain that I had in my fingers and arms from doing all those hooks. I absolutely love that look. And I'm kind of, I'm glad that I kind of decided to do more space between the ones on the second row. There are enough teacups. I could have just done three identical rows, but I thought it was more visually interesting to have like one row that was a little different. So I am very, very pleased with that. All right, the other, oh, speaking of random noises, I'm doing laundry as well as cooking, so. You can hear the dryer, but the other project that we did yesterday was getting this bed made up. It is so nice to see this bed looking like a bed because uh, I haven't seen it that way since we bought it. So I feel like a lot of progress was made yesterday. Today, uh, I am going to quickly finish cooking and finish up uh, doing my laundry and then I'm going to hop in the car. I'm going to drive to just outside Paris, leave the car. Go into Paris, meet Kat and Megan. We're gonna have two days there and then uh, come back here in the car. Yeah, so it's, it's gonna be time to drive. I'm still holding a fork from cooking. <laughs> um, it's gonna be time to drive to Paris. Uh, I'm happy to get this little mini road trip in. It's about a four and a half hour drive, I think. Um, but in the winter, I'm going to be driving a lot farther to uh, some contracts that I have during the winter. So it's good to have sort of a a smaller mini road trip practice uh, and I cannot wait to have our little road trip with us three girls and, and it's gonna be so fun. Anyway, I better get going because I got a lot to do before I leave and I want to have a nice relaxing drive this afternoon, not feel rushed. Hey guys, it is once again time for the Chateau Guessing Game. Uh, today we have, I've expanded the meaning of the word chateau a little bit, let's say. This is not technically a chateau, but it is something that you may know. Uh, I will give you one hint is that I am in Paris. So it is a Paris related, not exactly a chateau. Um, but before I show you the full view so you guys can guess what it is, then I'm just going to remind you to please do subscribe to this channel because it is immensely helpful. It is greatly appreciated and when you subscribe YouTube will keep you up to date with all the new videos coming out and everything that is happening at Everdeen so if you want to stay up to date if you enjoyed this video if you have a moment to do something quick and free that would help me out a lot please do subscribe please do like videos and uh, with that 
let's see your non-chateau to guess. Okay, like I said, this is not exactly a chateau. It is in Paris. The palm trees are a new addition. I've not seen the palm trees here before. They kind of change what is happening on this open space in the front very often. So if you think you know what this building is, write me a comment by the deadline that is in the description and probably at the bottom of your screen right now, although sometimes I forget to put it. And uh, if you are correct, you will be featured in my short about this place coming up in uh, probably less than a week. Anyway. Here's your chateau or non-chateau, and with that, I will see you guys next time.